Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Nicola and today we are gonna do a short sequence that is targeting the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is located uh, in the lower belly and it has something to do with our libido, with our sexuality, with creativity as well and just if we can give and receive pleasure uh, easily. So you can feel that you have some kind of imbalance in sacral chakra when you have some struggles with uh, reproductive systems, so fertility struggles, painful uh, periods, uh, horrible PMS or tight hips. So anything that has to do with this area means that there might be something stuck and we want to work on that today. So you can uh, expect very flowy uh, sequence. The sacral chakra is also connected to the water element, so that's also why the flowy movements uh, will be incorporated. And we want to focus on the hips uh, as the primary area today. You won't be needing any props for this one. And you can just start in the tabletop position onto your hands and knees. The hands are directly under the shoulders, the knees under your hips and just few rounds of cat and cow. So on the inhale, drop the belly, look up. And exhale, round and contract. Inhale, gaze up. And exhale, round, push into the ground. Few more like this, follow your own breath. Maybe you will be a little bit faster, slower than I am, and that's fine. Trust your body, listen to your body, and it will guide you. Last round. back to neutral and now with the whole body we will trace some circles so now come kind of into a plank on the knees and then the hips move to the side back to child's pose to the other side and back to plank just again follow your own body your range of motion and there is no wrong of doing it so just feel into the hips, feel the stretch, feel if there is any tension in some specific area of the body. Let's switch sides. Make sure you are still breathing deeply through the nose. And finish your circle wherever you are and come back to the neutral position. Now again, circles, the, this time just with the legs. So we will pick up the right leg and trace big circles as big as you can just up to the sky and back to the ground both hands are still on the mat let's switch direction release and pick up the left leg same thing switch direction maybe one side is easier than the other just observe the difference. And 
and don't try to have the same experience if you had that you had on the right. Come back to center and bring your hands a bit forward so they are past your shoulders. Tuck your toes and come into our first downward facing dog. So it is our first, so make sure to stretch everything, paddle the feet. The spine is nice and long. All the fingertips and knuckles are pushing against the mat. And now like a wave, come forward into plank and back to down dog. Inhale, come into plank and exhale back. Last one, inhale and exhale. Walk your feet to the front of the mat. Bend your knees generously and come all the way up to stand. Widen your stand and bring the heels in, toes out and bend the knees into a big squat, into goddess pose. So make sure that you have stability that the weight is equally distributed in here. And you can rest your hands onto your knees. Just make sure that you are not dropping all the way. It's really there just to make the contact with the legs, but do not put pressure on the legs with your hands. Keep your back flat, not rounded. Stay here, a little bit of strength required for sure. And now we will make it in motion again. So on the inhale, straighten the legs, rise the arms up and exhale, bend the knees, bring the arms down. Inhale, come up, exhale, bend the knees, arms down. Two more like this, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Come onto your left foot, straighten the right one. Maybe you can stay on your toes or if it's accessible, you can place the whole foot onto the mat for Skandasana. And we will not stay here. We will transition from left to right. So now come into the right foot, flex the left foot, so it's pointing towards the ceiling, switch sides, now the left foot is pointing up to the right, one more on each side, so now to the left, and to the right. Now turn to be facing the front of the mat and come back into downward facing dog. Big stretch here. Rise your right leg up and bring the knee behind your right wrist for pigeon. So the left ankle is more or less behind the left wrist, but the shin doesn't need to be parallel with the shoulder edge of the mat. That's really not important here. Just what is important though, is to keep the hips squared. Make sure that you are in the center and you can stay up here or once you find the position, you can try to lower maybe onto your arms or all the way down. Just use these first moments to adjust because we will be staying here for a few breaths. So you really want to make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. You should feel a nice stretch in the right hip. 
relax your upper body the shoulders the neck don't need to work now you can think maybe of an affirmation that goes together well with the sacral chakra it can be I trust my body, I trust that my body knows exactly what to do, I love myself the way I am, I am a creative being, whatever it is that is coming to your mind right now. Only come back up, back to the downward facing dog. And we will do the same thing on the other side. So left leg up, bring the left knee behind the left wrist and straighten the right leg behind you. Find your center and once you've got it, you can lower down or stay higher up. Let's come up to our last downward facing dog. So last big stretch here. And bring the knees onto the ground. And let's come to the seated position where we started. Bring your hands in front of the heart, close your eyes. And maybe observe how you feel now compared to how you felt when you stepped onto the mat. See if anything's shifted, if you got some new insights, new ideas. And maybe what you can take off the mat for the day. What can you cultivate today more of? And we will seal this practice with the chant of Om together one time. So take a deep breath in to chant. Om. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. Please let me know how it went for you in the comments. And maybe if you want to cultivate the sacral chakra also off the mat more. When it comes to diet, it's associated with the color orange. So wearing more of this color also can enhance the sacral chakra. But with foods, you just want to include whatever is orange. So it can be carrots, it can be maybe some citrus plants because it's also associated with the vitamin C and A. You also want to drink plenty of water because as we said it's associated with the water element. 
and also omega-3s will be really beneficial. So fatty fish, avocado, just seeds, nuts, this will also really help the sacral chakra and to balance the reproductive system. I hope to see you practicing with me again really soon. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a great day. Bye.